So what's going on guys? Welcome to another video where I talk about everything that's in the world of technology that's important to me. And what's going on right now is that Samsung has submitted over 700 questions. Each side can submit questions to pick out a jury. And I think Apple submitted like 70 questions. I guess Samsung has some issues with the kind of person that's going to be deciding this case. I think that it's important for everyone to realize that this is a real case. If you do want a Galaxy Nexus and if you want a Galaxy Nexus 7, this is the time to order it. If you guys didn't hear the news, Microsoft and Sprint just jumped into the conversation and Sprint actually put in something over to the courts that basically said they didn't agree with what Apple was doing. They want to sell the Android phones and not have to explain to people they have to take a feature away. Which brings up this issue. The Samsung Galaxy S3 had unified search on it. We know that Google uses unified search for web search. The fact that they can't use it on a phone, that's something that's going to be decided in the issue between Samsung and Apple. The update that went out to the Galaxy S3 from what I'm hearing was just a security update. It didn't say it was removing a feature. So my advice to Sprint, I would tell them, don't put out an update unless you're gonna tell people what it's doing to the phone because you're saying security update. That's not a security update. That's an update where you're taking a feature away. And I think it's a little bit misleading. Actually, it's very misleading. If you had a security update, you're like, wow, I want my phone to be secure. Now to get even more involved in this, I said something on Google Plus. I put a post there. My opinion was that somebody or a few developers were gonna get together and they were gonna make it available for download. And what did people do? They got their hands on the feature and they made it available for download. People are gonna get their hands on those features. Done. It's over. Note to Apple, you're fighting a fight that you're probably not going to win. And it's not going to just be against Samsung. It's probably going to be against developers out there. And you know as a company, fighting developers is a pretty tough battle. Because what they'll do is they'll spend all their time sharing those files and working on them and making sure people get them. That's somewhat of a reflection on what Android's about. And that's open source. And that means that people are always working on this stuff. It's not 9 to 5. It's not just you know regular business hours for them. Those people take it really seriously and that's something they like to do. So good luck trying to fight them because it's not going to work. Continuing on with Apple, out of the woodwork, Microsoft came about and they kind of were taking jabs at Apple. Supposedly, it's like a declaration of war by Microsoft. Recently, their CEO was saying that they're going to tap into every market and every niche that Apple is in. I'm not an Apple fan, as you guys can tell, because of all the crap that's been going on. I really have a personal problem with them about what they've been doing in regards to Samsung. But for Microsoft to jump into the conversation and start their shit, I have to say, Microsoft needs to shut the fuck up. Go back to doing something. Work on your Windows 8. Work on something productive. Windows 7, yes, it was better than Vista, but what is that saying? That's like saying a fucking car is better than a fucking horse and buggy. When we modernize, it's not that great. Microsoft, it's not your fight. Even though you want to get in on this, and maybe you're jealous of what Samsung is getting the attention of fighting Apple, just take a step back and work on your own company. But the point of all of this is that I found it really interesting for these companies to come around. Apple is just creating their own enemies. I would really like to see Apple make some new stuff. And the fact that I just heard they're working on a small version of the iPad speaks volumes because what they're concerned about now is the smaller tablets that are coming out including the Galaxy Nexus 7. And this means that they're getting worried about what's going on with their competition. They're going to start copying the ideas of people they're competing with. That's not really what I thought Apple was about. I think what's going to happen is that all this stuff is just going to create a lot of bad PR. That is the recap of all this stuff going on. I usually send off by saying fuck Apple. In this video I'm not going to say fuck Apple.